Good morning. Um, Tony here with a job update. Um, just thought I'd talk about that job I got a little bit more, doing um, pharmacy delivery, things like that. Um, so I've almost been doing it a week now. I've had 10 deliveries and I've been having a lot of adventures already. Um, one time I got to the pharmacy and the pharmacy was shut and then I, I so I, I didn't know what to do you know the pharmacy is shut and I'm just standing there and I heard somebody in there so I just waited and it turned out it was the pharmacist closing the place and when the pharmacist came out you know I pled and begged and please I can't go home until I do this delivery <laughs> that sort of thing so luckily I was able to get what I needed to deliver and delivered it and then um, I had another run. It was actually in the same night, and it was a really busy night. I think it was Friday. Um, I got to the pharmacy, and they were real busy. They were real busy. They were swamped and uh, understaffed as usual. I got up to the counter, you know, identified myself, identified my information, and the pharm pharmacy tech said, um, oh, we're too busy. We can't fill that tonight. Come back in the morning. <laughs> and I'm like, huh? I'm like um so I was wondering and I was like but I'm here to pick up we're too busy actually the pharmacy tech I, I want to say the pharmacy tech wasn't being snotty or anything more panicky more kind of like we're too busy for that go away <laughs> come back in the morning and so I was like, I'd like to talk to the pharmacist, please. And so I had to wait in line, actually, because the poor pharmacist was doing consults. Um, when people get a new new drug, they need to be consulted with the pharmacist to find out what it does. I finally get up there, and I said, um, I'm with, uh, the, I'm with uh, Johnny Ride, and I'm here. To... And the pharmacist was like, ah, yes, we're going to fill that. It, it turns out it was a hospice order. And if you're in the medical field, you know that pharmacists and others usually take hospice orders very, very seriously. Because, you know, it's somebody needs um, something to help them to shuffle off this mortal coil. Well, I don't mean to kill them. I mean to make their passing easier. Um, so, you know, you don't want people suffering. So I am... Um, so she was, or I'm sorry, the pharmacist was like really upset. In fact, I felt a little bad because the farm tech got chewed out. Because I know working in pharmacy, that was that was a major no-no. I already knew that. Um, I didn't, I wasn't so much wanting to get this person in trouble, but like I needed this stuff. I mean, I, I wanted to make sure. Well, no, if the pharmacist had said, yeah, come back tomorrow, then I would have like, just logged on my little system they, you know they said no but it turned out the pharmacist actually said you know this is the hospice order and they actually said I promised to do this tonight that this was something they had promised to do in fact the pharmacist dropped everything else they were doing and filled the order right there and then so I could pick it up and all the time they were chewing out the farm tech um, and, and that's a big serious thing in pharmacy um, you don't want that to happen I mean, uh, you torque off a pharmacist even once, and you're probably not going to be working there too much longer. But, I mean, I understand why the farm tech did that, but it wasn't really their place to say, we're not going to fill this order tonight. I mean, if they were going to say that, they should have checked with the pharmacist first. They should have went over to the pharmacist and said, hey, are we really going to be able to fill this tonight? Because this geezer is like here and we're too busy, blah, blah, blah. That was not something that this farm deck should have taken upon themselves to say, no, come back later. <laughs> um, even if they were swamped. But anyway, uh, oh, and the last thing, my last adventure happened last night or this morning. <clears throat> I left the volume on on my phone and I get a little tinkle saying I got a message at 12.30 in the morning. And I'm just like, oh, dang, I forgot to turn off the volume. So I'm turning off the volume, and I see it's a message from dispatch. Can you please go get this thing? Um, and, of course, I'm enjoying this job. I'm enjoying driving all over the place and hopefully making money. I haven't been paid yet, so I don't know how much is I'm actually going to get. But, um, I mean, if it's 100 bucks, I'm probably going to have to go back to data entry. <laughs> I don't think it'll be that. Um, so... I have my coffee.
I, I get the information, and it's actually here in Beaverton. They thought it was going to be in Hillsboro, but it turns out it was just in Beaverton. In fact, it was just down the road. It turns out the Walgreens at the end of Murray is an all-night, 24-hour pharmacy. So I run down there, and the place I was going to take it is just right up Cedar Hills Boulevard. Just You turn left, and there it is. I mean, I, I was probably about two miles from home. So, you know, it wasn't such a big deal. Um, I usually don't sleep well at night either. <laughs> I don't know whether it's stress or life or just being old, but I usually wake up to the night anyway. So I was just like, okay, I'll do that. And then I came back home, went back to bed. The only thing is that Val, my girlfriend, she caught me. I was trying to sneak out quietly, but she caught me sneaking out in the middle of the night. I tried to tell her I was just going boozy. I was just going to go bar crawling. <laughs> no, um, you know, hey, I was, I was making money. I mean, it, because it was so close, it's probably only going to be about 15 or 20 bucks. But hey, it's 15 or 20 bucks. Um, so anyway, that's what I've been up to. And I'm looking forward to another week of adventures. And I, the roads down in between Tigard and Sherwood are terrible. I don't like them. They're just split highways where they are truly split. There's like a 150-foot media or grass depression between them, so you can't turn around that easy. And then Durham Road. I hate Durham Road. Um, usually when you, and you live in the Portland area and you're listening to traffic reports, you'll usually hear something about Durham Road, and I found out why. It's a parking lot, and it's really hard to get a left. It's really hard even if you get a right and want to turn around. Ooh, I don't like it. All right, so have fun out there, and I'll talk to you again someday. And thank you for watching.